Morning folks, so it's a lovely nice day again at Loch Ness Smithy Off Grid Small Hold in Scotland. If you haven't done already, if you could please subscribe to the channel, ring that little bell. If you could drop us a comment, if you don't know what to comment, just tell us who you are and where you're from. Um, and if you could please like the videos, it really helps us on YouTube with the algorithm. So today, we're going to be fixing this old Ife Williams trailer up, which is not that old. She looks old, she's had a hard life. We've used her well. I bought a second hand three years ago for £500. It was only a flatbed back then. I got some sides off a friend, so I've made her into a drop side. Got a winch for £100 off Facebook Marketplace. You can probably see down here, she's 2014. So she's seven years old, but the floor's rotten. The last person was moving sand and gravel and they were scraping the, that off the floor with a digger so they damaged all the buffalo boards so it's just the water's got into it the boards are rotten i don't know if you can probably see yeah they're rotten so anyway what the plan is i'll come back in a second we've bought some 40 mil pressure treated larch so we're going to replace the buffalo boards with pressure treated larch and screw them down now I don't, I don't trust the modern fence treatments, this green treatments that they've used for the last 15 years. Wood seems to be rotting, so um, they're trying to be environmentally friendly now and they've took all the bad stuff out of the, the wood treatments and wood just doesn't seem to be lasting. Now I know, I know larch in theory, it's a semi-hardwood, it's an oily hardwood. Technically it's a softwood, but farmers will tell you it's a semi-hardwood. It's good for fence stops, you know, it's it's good for fencing, that sort of stuff. So it does last in general. So it's pressure treated, but we've soaked it with our, our homemade creosote. I don't know if you can actually see that, it's nice and shiny. So I'm gonna do a separate video of us making our, our homebrew creosote. So that's been soaked twice on each side boys that were painting it I don't think they've got the sides done properly so we'll give it another lick with creosote before we bolt it down to the trailer floor but this is just going to be a sub floor so what I'm going to do I was going to butt these boards tight but I'm actually going to leave about a five mil gap between them for expansion and then I advertised on Facebook looking for some aluminium checker plate just some second hand stuff and a neighbour had got this so it's got two holes drilled in it because it's come off a cow trailer floor. So it's basically come off a trailer the same size and it's been the floor so it's got a bit of cow shit on it, it's going to want to wash. That's the underside, it's just the way we managed to flip it into the trailer because it's quite heavy. So what I'm going to do is put them large boards down first, put this on top. I've got some deck rings come in because at the moment if I'm away and I've got the the sides on the trailer as anybody knows you've got to strap over the top of the sides and it's a right pain it pulls these sides and it bends the posts so it's not good you can't get stuff tight so i've bought a pack of deck rings off ebay that when i put this aluminium in i'm going to coach bolt the deck rings into the chassis rails so we can strap from the inside and also some of the eyelets some of them there's one there been snapped off just sad or hard life this trailer the last owners have used it so we're going to put these deck rings in so it just makes it, it makes it a lot more usable trailer i was due to buy a new trailer this year but like everything in life i for liam's trailers have doubled in price they've gone ridiculous so a trailer that would be three and a half thousand it's now about five grand plus fat and i believe the waiting list is till january now today's today's the first of august although this video will go out a bit later. So, you know, I'm not ordering one and waiting five months. She's not rotten, she's not rusty. Brakes just need a wee adjustment. Sort out the broken lights, new floor, and she'll be good to roll. So I'm gonna be spending about 500 pound on this trailer. Debatable whether it's worth spending, but hopefully I'll get another three or four years out of it and then, then maybe buy a brand new one to the spec I want. So anyway, I'll drop a couple of pictures here of the stuff we've bought and then I don't know if I'll put it on a time lapse or try and video it or a combination of both of us putting the floor in. And um, 
we'll see you at the end of the video folks so it's the next day today's sunday we've got the old ife williams trailer stripped down lots of buffalo board that came off it it was really rotten around the edges and rotten at the screw holes the middle of the boards was okay so that might get used for something i'm not sure so that's what an Ife Williams trailer looks like, stripped down. There's not a lot to it, really. Took the sides off and put them in the shed so nobody nicks them. And this is uh, the larch that's going on before the, the checker plate. I've stripped all the wiring out for the lights because nothing worked. We lent the trailer to somebody about a year ago um, to move some haylage. And it came back and the lights wouldn't work again. Couldn't get them working, played for a long time, just don't know what happened to them. Don't know whether they got water in them or I don't know. That's it's all stripped down. So we're putting that larch on. This sheet of aluminium that I got yesterday. So that's come off a cattle float. That's upside down, we've just cleaned that because it's covered in cow muck. So we've cleaned it, put it inside so it doesn't blow away. I've been ordering stuff off eBay, so these deck rings are going to go in the floor. So I've got 10 of these that I'm going to bolt down. I need to work out exactly how to do them because it's a long time since I've fitted them. Got my, my lighting kit for the trailer. So we're going to going to redo the lights while the floor's out because it's a lot easier than lying underneath it and all these reflectors are smashed on the sides so i've just i've just ordered uh clear reflectors and orange reflectors off ebay and um i've ordered a couple of you know the red triangles for the back so we'll get all the wi wiring in and working first then we'll get the large boards down aluminium checker plate on and we'll start cutting the, the the rings in for lashing down maybe give a bit of a clean up while we're at it so that's it for today so we've got the wooden boards on got the dirty old checker plate on we're just spacing out the deck rings there's two existing holes in this checker plate so I've utilised it and put two deck rings, we've got ten. So we're going to space them every four foot down the side. Got the lights wired up. Just need to get a bit of trim for the back to cover the boards. But the lights work, need a new number plate. We're getting there. Well that's five deck rings in, we're halfway. Like I said, we're putting them every four foot. Luckily, we've got them all into a rail, so... Ooh, let's see if we can see that. So, there, there's only one bolt on the wood. It's reinforced with the aluminium above. The back bolts are on the side of the chassis, and the other one's in it. Same here. I'll try and video it. So, we've got one bolt in the, the wood two in the back rail and one down the middle of the, down the middle of the chassis there and same on the corner got three good bolts well, these bolts are expensive for these um, deck rings 40 pound a box the stainless steel high temp soil locking nuts six mil they're properly made for the job, but by God, they're, ex they're expensive. They're more expensive than the decking rings. But helps hold the floor down. Just means we don't have to strap over the sides. Just really, really tidies it up. It's not supposed to look like a new trailer, but it's got to be functional. So we've now got working lights, working brakes. Need one tire runner. We've got all the deck rings on the winch. Looks 
like a popper trailer now. So that's the Eiffel Williams trailer finished. We've got new number plate on, new lights on, reflectors, new wooden subfloor made out of larch, checker plate, deck rings, eyelets, deck rings are bolted into the chassis, which is all silicon around the edge, coach bolts in, it's all coach bolted down, new side reflectors. Front reflectors, got the headboard back on. The, the jack was seized, so I've freed the handle up, greased it. So we all look kind of legal now. Try and keep the boys in blue happy, so. I think that'll be the end of the video because she just wants a wash and start using her. So thanks for watching, folks.